y'all we are going to sit down today and talk about the sins of christine according to cody if you are new here we have done a bunch of videos on sister wives yes. 500 to be exact and we have also is done it 500 it is oh it my is. gosh it oh is my it's about gosh. half the content we've made Let's but but hold on, wait. Yeah. But also, we have done the sins of I think the sins of Janelle, the sins of Robin, the sins of Cody. So it's kind of and like the sins a series of Mary. and the sins of Mary, yeah. like things that they've done wrong to ruin the marriages. So yes. we're going to talk about the sins of Christine according to Cody. Cody. Yes. So we're going to get into that. You look back with a sense of humor. What a waste! I was in the fetal position on the floor, sobbing. Well, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing here. I'm not laughing. I haven't been laughing with her leaving. I've never been laughing about this thing. She, she, she asked me to stop staying at her place. I wasn't laughing then. She moved my stuff into the garage. I wasn't laughing then. She left with Truly and she left early. I wasn't laughing then. I've never been laughing about this. Guys, but it's Mary. And Alma. We invite you guys to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Yes. Um, but you guys know Cody Ooh. was sitting down talking to Christine. Yes. They were on. They had not met each other. Ever since I think the breakup, she yeah, said this was the first time that they met with each other, and he was really getting into, yeah, um, why he wasn't laughing, and I realized yeah. that those were the sins. That this is this this is the problem he's having with Christine. Well, one is because she loves him. That's that's the biggest sin. You don't ever leave me and then try to dismantle the whole myth about how great polygamy is and how dare you embarrass me and then leave and, me and here with Mary and show. Janelle. I, yeah, and then talk about you kick me out, you move me out, and then you embarrass me in front of my favorite wife, Robin. So how dare you leave me? Because he's like, you know, I don't want to. Because remember when he when it was a season seventeen and he was talking about how, oh, you know, I I don't feel like a man, you know, yeah. having to talk about how another wife is leaving me to my other wives. I, I don't want to do that. But he had to sit down there like a bump on the log and do it. So it's like yes. one, it's the public embarrassment. Yeah. Two, it's the public shame. Mm. Three, it's the fact that you're leaving me. Mm. And then four, it's the fact that you're taking my kids, mm. the kids that oh. you don't never see though. Um, and then Truly. also it's the fact that. Um, you're not here for my favorite wife to torture anymore. So how dare you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was really going nuts. Like, was, I was laughing when she did this. I was laughing yeah, when she did I this. I was laughing when she did this. When she kicked me out, put my stuff in boxes. She, when she, she told me I could come by the house. I wasn't laughing when she moved my stuff to the garage. Yeah. So these are the sins. I wasn't laughing when she took truly early. Yes, but early. she had to go early because she had to put her in school. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, and then leaving, I wasn't laughing when she left, you know, or said that she was leaving. Yeah. Like, Cody, at some point, you have to get some kind of awareness, okay? Christine didn't just get up and do these things. Like, he, he's acting as if she just got up in a vacuum and was just like, you know something? You move out. No reason. I moved your stuff to the garage. Don't bring your stuff here no more. No reason. I am moving. I, even though I moved from Arizona, sold my house, moved yeah. to, no, not Arizona, Las Vegas. Even though I moved from Las Vegas, sold my house on this dream that you had that we're all going to be in one house in Flagstaff, Arizona, where we don't have no family members or no people, none of our people out there. I moved over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just got up and decided I am leaving. Yeah. And selling my house again and moving to Utah and you did nothing like Christine didn't get up and do all these things in a vacuum yeah okay and I left with truly like come on and then having to have all these talks with you sit down with the sister wives only for Robbie to sit out and, oh, I don't know what I am I don't know what to do with myself. I swear she thinks she's, think that like she's doing enough. some crazy stuff as though she is. But crazy. she was trying to trigger Cody so he can go and attack I don't Christine. Know what I, what I am. Like, it's too much. Mentally unstable. Like, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the two of those things that Robin and Cody, sometimes it's just. You know who I feel bad for? Much. Who? Solomon and Ariella. Because those oh. are their parents. <laughs> Like, at least Christine's kids had a fighting chance. At least Janelle's kids had a fighting chance. I mean, you already see well, how it turned well, out with Mary's well, child. Like, so like I Mary, like, I mean, like, like Mary has said, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think with, I think with Mary, 
and I think the thing is with Mary, she burdened Leon she too did. much. She really she did. She was the it, only was child. Like, you put all this stuff on me. You, you have Cody putting all this crap on me also. I'm going to tell you what it is. When you have two parents, like, I think why Christine and Janelle's children are okay seem to be, they're managing. Nobody's perfect. But I feel like it's because at least, you know, you have the one parent who seems to be sensible. You mean stable? Mary, yeah, Mary can be very emotional. We saw her having a We know that weird... because how are you abusing kids when yeah. the one you should be abusing is the husband? Yeah. And, well, and that that we condone. Well, right? let's, uh, it's like, or having that conversation with him. Yeah. And, but it's like she took it out of the kids. Yeah, she was very, Mary was very unstable. Um, and then had Leon Mary all unstable. up in the catfishing thing. I think that whole thing was, effed her up. Yeah, I it think effed so. Up Leon. I think so. And it, uh, it messed up her belief system. Of also. course. All of that stuff. It's like, why, then why in the world are we in polygamy? Why do we have this belief system in the FLDS or the AUB, what their religion is? Like what is what what's all that about? What is this? Because remember, she was the one who actually wanted the only child who wanted to continue with polygamy, right? Yeah. And she was very adamant. Because how do you go that. from that to a whole three? Like we're not even doing one eighty. We're doing like three sixty. Yeah, like but on the I think that the other it side. blew up her world. I'm Just sure before she had to go off to college, she still can't it even blew up her world, and she was very angry about it for the longest time. She, she still is to Mary. though. I'm she sure she talked is. to Mary. She gave Mary a hard time. She didn't want to have anything to do with her. Like, um, so I just feel like Mary has was not very stable at a very, very important time of a child's life. But the thing is, she didn't know herself. So how could she, she be stable? She also didn't. Um, she got with somebody who used and abused her, yeah. and then she took all that on. And then yeah. on top of that, Mary is the last mother ever person that should be able to. I'm sorry. The last person. Because she's too jealous. Like, I, I cannot be in polygamy because I am. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not sharing like, my dudes. I ain't doing it's, that. It's not even that. It's not that but I will be jealous. But I, it's like, this is my person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I can't. I, I've always known that about myself. Even though I'm Muslim, like, no, I cannot. So, if I'm ever going to be with someone that's, like, in the contract, like, it's not going to be any other no, wife. No, second, third, fourth, yeah, none that. Yeah, like yeah. what my parents did. Like, eh, there's not going to be any other wife here. Um, because that's an absolute no. Um, but, yeah, so I just feel like Mary never should be in polygamy because I just feel like her, herself, and she was on her way out the door when Cody came in the door yeah. into the whole polygamy thing. And she got all gaga about, I guess, his hair and his looks and decided where, if he's staying in polygamy, I'm going to stay in polygamy. I'm not going nowhere. And that was kind of her downfall, you know. But yeah. what were we talking about? What was this? Oh, it was about the sins of Christine. Of Christine. But I feel as though Cody, like, once again, taking zero accountability. He's saying it with so much venom. I was mad when she put my stuff in the garage. She put your stuff in the garage, Cody. You know why she put your stuff in the garage? Because you told she her told no more her, money. Thank you. Thank you. And she was like, you mean the never? <laughs> I mean, the fact that like, she was already putting up with two times a year. Having no, no. sex. No, that was towards the. To yes, yes. I know, but the fact that she even dealt with that yeah. for one year. Yeah, and is then enough. she was like, wait, wait, we're never going to have it? Is that what you're saying? Not even to say? once a year? No intimacy? He should not no, say that. No, 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 no. It's not a marriage. And what she did, like, it's not a marriage. So it's not a marriage. Like, because look. intimacy is what really solidifies that. Like, yes, you decide to enter a company yeah. with somebody, but also the what bonds you in that marriage is the fact that this is the only person that you are sharing your body yes. everything with yes. and so you take that away what the hell do we have like if you're not disabled there's no reason why we should not be having sex even if you're disabled there are so many different ways for you to well i'm just saying like if you really can't like say no, you like no, crippled from the no, neck down listen i saw a guy who has no legs and he has no arms and he's married and he and the wife just had a child an african guy um, oh, let me talk about that white guy who's the motivational speaker. He, oh, the, well, yes, the one I gave you guys the book to. Yeah. Read. Yeah, not him. I'm talking about this uh, This an African guy here who, I think, an East African guy. I mean, unless and you are rendered married, paralyzed, I don't see There are different ways of, of having intimacy. 
and the fact that he's telling her no. And so she was like, no, you're not going to come up to my room and pretend that we have some kind of relationship. Because you know, when, you, when you're when you intimate with your partner, that is, I, I heard a minister say that, you know, sex is the highest expression of love. Yeah. Between two people, between a husband and a wife. And I really do believe that. And it's very, very important in a relationship. And the fact that now you're saying no. So that's why, and then after that, okay, if you're not in my bed, I'm gonna start moving you out of my life pack all your, your stuff that's in my room because you're not changing in my room and you certainly in our religion you're not gonna go change outside either with my girls because you got what five girls and one boy so there's no need for you to have your clothes here take all your things you get out and out you don't want intimacy oh okay. man I'll, I'll really minimize it How yes about that? exactly you we're ain't not gonna to pretend see me. we're not gonna pretend I'm not gonna be doing what Mary did like she was adamant and right there is when cody you should have stopped yourself in your tracks and be like whoa 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 because there was even a time the day or you should have said i didn't mean it's i didn't mean that we wouldn't have intimacy at all what i meant was maybe we'll have it once a month well, instead of two times yeah <laughs> that's remember that, that's he should have humbled himself immediately have. remember even when he went to the house that's one thing i can say for robbie she did try in this instant not with the whole marriage right well she did not but try remember, she did that because the camera was there Oh. You need to go sit there and be on the couch. You should have been you doing all of that, that stuff when she you were sitting down there girl. lying like, on Christine. You should have been doing that when you were telling your little laughs about how, oh, she's so horrible to me. You should have been Mary saying all that. catching then. Robin on everything. She's not giving her not even one inch, okay? If you all are like Mary is with Robin, let us know down. Put a number one down in the comment right now. <laughs> But, but Robin that is, is just true. a liar. But she did tell Cody, even Robin, because Robin has gone through divorce. She knows this is the beginning stages. She's like, look, you're not going to spoil my reality and my porch life. You take your ass and go back and make it work. You sit there. Stay in that house. Stop coming over here. I'm not in monogamy anyway. And you just left here. But Rob, uh, Cody, I don't think he went that day. I don't know if he left that yet. No, he, he said he no. He said I'm not going to do that. BC was crazy saying his pride will so not go allow it's him. It's like to do those it. are the things. And then you know, she told you she had these conversations with you, long conversations, and saying like, well, let's you know, it's not really working, Cody. You want to? You don't want to be in this, you know? You could have said something else. You could have said no, no, no. I do want to be in this, you know? Yeah. I want this to work, but you didn't. You know, you let her walk out that door. Talk about she took truly early. She had tried. She had done everything. So what everything. do you expect her to do? Like, what she am I still sitting here for? She had done everything except for slit her wrist for you, okay? Like, what do you expect her to do? Like, okay, I've already said goodbye to the wives. I've been working on this relationship for years. It hasn't worked. It's not for me to pack my stuff. And hit and the sell road. And sell this house. And, yeah, I've hit the road. My daughter has to go to school. Like, what do you expect? Yeah. So, I mean, all of these little sins that you're trying to put on Christine Cody, you need to take all them fingers and point it right back at yourself. Take a mirror, look at yourself, and look at the man and the there. mirror. Start there, all right? Yeah. Instead of you sitting down talking about, um, I need to work on forgiveness because I have to forgive myself for being so angry. Really, Cody? <laughs> you can't find other things. To forgive yourself about yeah okay i mean there's there's so much there's so much for you to you know like forgive yourself about other than you just being angry but we're gonna get about get on that in another take yes y'all but it's mary and um uh -huh. but just like subscribe and comment down below Bye. and look out for our unfiltered patreon that'll be dropping this weekend you guys yes. all new exclusive content about our lives new topics that you guys want to discuss and personal interactions with us you guys yes. so look out for that and we will see you on the next video Bye.